All right, what we got going on today is gonna be making a couple teaseboards. boards. One of them's a custom one. 25 years together, knock on wood, super cute. Um, so yeah, I've got the cups ready. I've got all my pigments ready and I uh, have organized it all out in the sense of what I want on my boards. I like to figure it out beforehand just to make it easy on myself. And I am going to be pouring my art resin. And here's my scale and my little my little mixer container. <laughs> but uh, yeah, stay tuned. How to mix your resin, art resin. That's what I use. All right, so I personally have a scale. It's called AccuWave. I got it off Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks. You could tear it, all that jazz. So uh, you also need to have a big old container to mix in. And it doesn't matter if it's already got some stuff in it, if you have a weight scale that can tear. So mine I've used it, it's hardened in there. I can't get it out, whatever it is what it is. So turn this baby on. Let it turn on, now it's on. I keep it on fluid ounce. Okay, so it's at zero. Put this on, now it's at 12.6. I know how to tear it, so I just go like this, tear. Now it's gonna be at zero. Okay, so now we pour in our, it's a one-to-one -one mixing ratio. So I'll just pour in what I want of that and pour in the exact same amount of that or vice versa, whichever way you wanna do it. I don't know. I just do it this way and it seems to work out for me. All right, let's get pouring. So I'm gonna start with the resin. Oh, see, what the heck happened there? Always make sure it's a zero. Here. Okay, so, oops, got the lid off. Now I'm gonna pour, I want a lot, so I'm gonna have to pour quite a bit. Let's do 10.2, sure, we'll stop it there. Alrighty. Now we tear it. And we go 10.2. And now we mix. Gloves on. Oh, you gotta put your gloves on for mixing, especially pollen for something like this. Some people use a drill. I don't like to use a drill. Well, I don't really have a drill to use. I don't know. I'll figure it out one day, but this is what I do for now. I grab one of these and I mix. For the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna do this. So, what you want to do when you're mixing your resin is it'll get a little bit cloudy at first. That's normal. You don't want to mix it super hard because you'll get a bunch of bubbles and you just want to avoid bubbles really at all costs because bubbles are a pain in the butt. They float to the top. They create an uneven surface. They don't make it crystal clear. It's just, you don't want them. So, um, scrape the sides, scrape the bottom, make sure it's all mixed. You want to be mixing this for... <sighs> Hold on. You want to be mixing this for like at least two to five minutes. I usually do like around three or four. So we'll get her going here. Yeah, one day I'll get to the easy way that they do it. Some people use a drill and they have this little thing on the end and they just and it just spins it. So one day I'll get there. I'm sure I just gotta do it. Yeah, like most things in life, you know, I just gotta do it. All right, we're all mixed. So we gotta just uh, pour. I'm not gonna have, I have really small, they're not really small, but they're quite small compared to the cups, you can see. So I don't wanna be doing, adding too much in here cause then I'll waste my resin. You don't wanna waste this stuff, it's expensive, man. Anyways, um, so you want to have about 10%, let me show you, 
I'll pour this in. Oh, there's all, yeah, a little bit more. There we go. That one. This one. Don't want a whole lot. The black, we don't want a whole lot. There we go. I like this purple. It's like a copper purple, so I want kind of a decent amount. There we go. This down. I'll show you what we're dealing with. I'm gonna take these off. I don't want to get resin on your fingers and stuff. It's not good for your skin. Anyways, um, you don't want to use more than 10% of your pigment, otherwise it gets sticky and weird and just messes it up. It makes a not nice surface, so. That's good. We'll show you how much I put in. That's how much. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue doing that with all of these. And then um, I'm gonna do a special process today where I'm gonna add, this is a little bit different for me. I don't usually do this, so it's kind of an experiment. Um, I'm gonna mix all the colors into a cup after I've kind of set what I want on the board. And then I'm gonna pour all the colors that are mixed, not mix in the cup, just pour them and then pour the cup out. And then it'll give a cool effect, hopefully. Hopefully, not hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be interesting. And then I'm gonna do an ocean board. So stay tuned. I love this one. This is a powder pigment. It is Perlex, Jacquard, these are my favorite. I absolutely adore them. But look at, oh, God, hold on. Look at the copper. It's like, what's it called? Duo Violet Brass. You know, it lives up to its name. Okay, so now I am doing that cool thing that I talked about where I'm going to add them all into the cup. I put a little bit of clear in there, and then I'm going to add the gold first see what that does just because this floats to the top so again uh, jacquard pinata gold amazing give it a good shake before you use it and then um, let me just show you guys see if I can let's see if I can do this so that you can see um, do you see it like float up to the top Anyways, it floats to the top really, really well. It's super, super cool. I'm gonna add a whole bunch in there because I love it. And it's really expensive, so you don't really want to mess around with this stuff too much because, well, you do, but you know, you got that money. So, that, I'm gonna add the purple now. Adding that, and whoa! Oh my god, I wanna show you guys. I wonder if I can. It's like the purple just went through the gold. It just, that's how crazy the gold is. It just sits right up on top. It's intense. Anyways, purple out. Not all of it though, I'm gonna save a wee bit. And then we're gonna do this one. This is my favorite one. This one. What is gonna be cool? Okay. It's all in. Let's see how. I'm nervous. Okay. Y'all can see. Y'all can see. Yeah.
so cool. Y'all see this? Damn. Okay, I'll make it a little bit longer. Cool. Really cool. I'm happy with this. Killing it. So the biggest tail is overnight. How that'll do. What I'm gonna do though, just to add a little zingy zazz. Hmm, I'm gonna wait a bit. Let's wait a bit. Yeah. But what I do like to do is I like to make sure my sides are all clean and pretty so they're smooth and all even. We can take this stuff up. And then go like this. Okay. And then pick the feet up and go like this. I like accents, don't judge me. Okay. Oh, oh we're good. There's empty. Ah, that one's not! Oh my god. Hold on, we got a mess. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm making a mess. Please don't go anywhere. Oh my god, y'all saw that too. Gosh darn this. Yo, what the heck? Ugh, why do I gotta do this to myself, bro? Now I got resin everywhere. Shit, dog. Well, I saved quite a bit still, so it's alright. Okay. Back to this. Do a pick up. And you wipe. Do a pick up. And you wipe. Beaut. She's a beaut. Neat. Okay. So once we've poured, I add a torch. You got to pop those bubbles. Watch the difference. Oh my god, look at the gold come through. Y'all see that? Can you guys see in there? Cause... Damn. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Pretty cool, man, pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed that. All right, now we're on to the next one. So this one is, we've got red, orange, gold I poured it all out but um and some kind of orangey coppery champagne-ish color and then some white so let's see how the pour goes I don't know what the best way let's see let's start from here let's how about that okay let's go for it Whoa, I'm digging it. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Nice, it's pretty neat. It's a pretty random one, but I like it. You guys can see that. Um, now we can touch it up a bit with some white. How about that? Let's do that. Let's do a white line uh, here. Okay, and let's do some white up here. Honestly, I'm just having fun today. I'm not really trying super hard. So, yeah. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to torch it. Um, I might wanna actually heat gun this one. Cool. 
school. Pretty neat. Fortune, it changes it so much. This is the purple one. I added a little bit of some detail after. Spots coming up. We'll see what the future holds with that one. I got a little carried away and I made the third one. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but um, it's actually my favorite of like all of them. It's gonna turn out really, really cool. I did like a really, really dark navy. And then I added some black to make it a little bit darker just because it wasn't dark enough for my liking. And then I added white. And then I added um, some, what's it called? Brass of the Jacquard Pinata. So this one is actually probably gonna be my favorite. I love it, it's super cool so far. Just wait till you guys see it. Um, other than that, the other ones, I don't know. I'm not like loving them. Check it out. We got this one. This one I just kind of fixed. I made it a little bit better. It's pretty cool, actually. I don't know. This one, I don't know. I just poured on some clear resin. I don't know why I did that. I thought it'd maybe look cool, but nope. I don't know about this one. It's not my fave. This one's just a clear layer for now, for the custom one. And then here is this one, and it's only gonna get better. Those cells are just gonna get way more intense. So the is gold. It's pretty, pretty prominent, as you can see. But I don't know. I kind of like it. Okay, now I'm on to the ocean board. So. Now I've mixed all my colors already and everything, and I am going to pour. I'm gonna have it on both sides, just cause I want to. So start with the dark, up at the top. Ooh, not that much though, because we have to do it on both sides. But... Maybe a little bit more in here. This one I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave it there. Okay, now the lighter blue. And I like to use metallic pigments for this because it gives a really cool shiny effect. Oh, hold on a minute there. Let's get those hairs out of here, girl. Okay, Max, now this side. Okay. Now this side. And you should be wearing gloves. I should be wearing gloves. So if you're doing this, wear gloves. Don't be on the way right now. Wear them gloves. Just a little bit. It's not fun to have sticky hands. Okay, that one is done. Is this last but not least? Mix it up, mix it up. Mix and mix, mix, mix.
And here is the final product. This one, I think, is my favorite. <laughs> I love it. I think it's super cool. This one is just a clear coat. And I'll be putting something over that. And then this one's pretty neat. I don't know. It's all right. Might go over that one. This one turned out pretty cool. I like the look of it. And then, the ocean one turned out pretty sweet, too. Yeah, so that was it. If you enjoyed the video, then subscribe to my channel.